This is Randy Rosetta with HubCityPreps.com with the video version of the Patriot Podcast. I'm with Talon Wilcox. Did I get it right? Yes, sir. Barrett Shigarek, whose name is fun to say. I just told him that. Mm -hmm. Guys, getting closer and closer to that first ever varsity game. I want to talk a little bit about that, but we're going to talk about going up to Pampa and what happened up there and what that does for you moving forward. Barrett, you baseball season, you were in a lot of big moments, so you're... Mm -hmm. You're kind of one of the guys that knows how to put your feet to the fire and get ready to, to go. What did you learn about your team up at Pampa in that last, next to last uh, test run before you guys get going here? You have one more scrimmage and then mm -hmm. season opens, but what did you learn about your guys up in Pampa? Um, I kind of learned that like it, we just need to, instead of waiting to really fight back, because we kind of got hit punch in the mouth at the beginning and we had to like bounce back at towards like the last drives and I just I think we should really try to step on the gas right away instead of get hit and then step on the gas because that really affects you in, the, in an actual game setting. Well I requested one of the big guys from coach when I was going to set this up because I wanted to see that to me that's where the tone has to get set. What did you guys do? What did you struggle with early and then what did you do better as the night went on? Well for the linemen especially it was our pad level and just not coming off the ball quick enough. We'd kind of like getting stalemates instead of getting forward motion. And like we got back to doing it how we supposed to at the end. We kind of got them tired, but we just need to be able to do it right away instead of having to wait. And we just need to have leadership because we can't be pointing fingers at each other if someone makes a mistake. Like if someone fumbles, we can't be getting mad at them. We need to kind of just say, tell, tell them it'll be all right and we'll get the next play. So. All right, let's switch over to skill position, guys, running backs in particular, Talon. What did you like about what you guys did up in Pampa? What kind of caught your attention about what you guys are potentially can do well? Uh, our linemen did. Uh, at first, I mean, we uh, we got hit pretty hard. They were getting up all over us. But, you know, towards the second half of the scrimmage, um, our linemen stepped it up pretty good, and uh, I saw that they could block for me, and they did that pretty well. You're one of the faster dudes in this program, which speed always helps. As you get into a varsity football season, are you kind of starting to learn that that speed is great, but you also have to make sure you're in the right place at the right time? How key is that for you? Uh, it's very uh, important for people to be in the right places. Jeez. Uh, oh, That's all right. You mentioned the linemen. Barrett was critical of them. You, were, you gave them some praise, so... Let me switch over here, Barrett. What did you like about what your skill position guys did on offense? Um, how they were able to just, like, once they got an open hole, they were able to take advantage of it and not kind of being – they weren't really hesitant. They were just – just they found an open hole, they're just going to go through and go for a lot of yards, and that helps us. So it's just them being able to really take advantage of those tiny holes that we create for them. It's just it really helps just everybody. I'm going to guess it motivates you when you see a dude with oh, this yeah. kind of speed get a little bit of mm -hmm. open space. Now, did both of you guys play defense or are you just offense? I'm just offense. Yeah, okay, so you you kind of get to speak for that side of the ball. What are some things that you know you need to polish this week? Uh, for Bushland? Yes. Um, really just we need to, like as I said before, we need to punch them in the mouth right away because that team – they have some big dudes, and if we our pad level's too high or we're not coming off the ball quick enough, they're going to let us know, and they're going to just blow our plays up, and that just won't be good for us. So we just need to really like be motivated and really want to just hit them in the mouth first, and then that's when we can really just advance from there. What about you, Kev? Or I almost called you my brother's name. What about you, Talon? What do you think the skill position, running back, the receivers, quarterbacks need to do or need to polish a little bit more this week? Uh, definitely our uh, quick game. Uh, we're going to have to get the ball out pretty fast since they're going to have a, mm -hmm. a lot of blitzes off the uh, edge of the line. So uh, we got to get we got to get the ball out there. And uh, for me, I'm going to have to block, help the linemen a little with the uh, six-person blitz. So. Yep, you're starting to play teams with big guys with bad intentions, so yep. they're going to come after you a little bit. So I've mentioned your speed a couple of times. I'm not going to ask you about racing Big Brother because I know he's pretty fast. I'm, I'm going to let you get a little bit more wind underneath you. But have you ever raced against Dad Kai Wilcox or Uncle Cade Wilcox? No, they're a little they're a little too old now. 
So you'd beat them in a foot race? Yes, I would. Okay, what about <laughs> what about those two? They're, they're twins, so they're they're even more competitive than Big Brother, or Little Brother. What what if they get going? Uh, <laughs> I don't well, know. They might they might pull something. Uh oh. Well, you can't. I'm not, I'm older than them, so I can't say too much. Yeah. Barrett, let's go back to what I mentioned before. And coaches have talked about this. Some of your teammates have talked about this. You baseball guys that had the success in the spring, and you, I think I mentioned to Coach, you had one of the biggest hits of all against Idaloo. Mm. Are you starting to see that kind of pay off a little bit as you get closer to the season, that kind of that confidence that you walked off the baseball field with that last time? No, well, yeah, and it's like it's just it's a good feeling to know that, like, you were such a big – that I was such a big part of it, but also I need to look at the things I struggled with, with, you know, just kind of getting my strikeouts down and – shorter to the ball and and like especially in football now after coming off that big of a season I'm able to like know okay we were good in baseball now we just need to have to continue that success to football and put our clutch moments and our just good teamwork and just help it in football too. Kind of the same thing for you Talon you you went to regional on track correct? Yep. I remember talking to you. What did that do for you individually, confidence-wise, as you went into the summer and came back ready to, to practice for football season? Yeah, that really uh, boosted my confidence for the summer, uh, throughout summer. It really helped me uh, do a lot of lifting, gave me the confidence to remember the plays they gave us uh, for this year. And then it really translated to this uh, season where I can really show off uh, what I can do against the uh, older people, varsity. And the Patriots get one more chance to do that kind of as a dress rehearsal Thursday night against Bushland over at Lubbock Cooper. And then things get started for real down the road at New Home. This is Randy Rosetta with HubCPreps.com. That's been the Patriot Podcast sponsored by Grease Monkey.